It is that time of year again. I love this. We are hosting a wedding in a week, and we want to introduce you to the pastor that will be helping us make all of this possible. Pastor Ken Patterson is joining us this morning with more. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Good to see you. Yes, again. Again. We've been doing this together for five years. Yes, yes. Oh, my goodness. It's, it's, been, it's been fun every year, mm -hmm. too. It's exciting, and the couples, the medium, it's just, it's beautiful. It's We're beautiful. so lucky to have you teaming up with us, because something that you do that's just so incredible is you get to know this couple in one week. How do you do that? You got to, the, the idea about officiating is making that wedding amazing, making it special, and it's special because you get to know them, and that connection kind of communicates itself on the ceremony day. So it, doing it in a week is really tough. So as soon as yeah. I find out who the winner is, we got to get in touch with them, learn a little bit about their story, and figure out how we can't communicate what they want to communicate in their wedding day. So it's it's tough because you got to do it in a week. Right. You do a beautiful job, and especially on live TV, because all of you are going to be watching them say I do, watching you yeah. officiate this wedding. Any any nerves? I mean, by now you're probably an old pro, but do you still get nervous? Yeah, I, well, maybe the first time, but I'm still a little bit nervous because you want to make sure it's good for the couple. Right. You know, so nerves are good. You know, yeah. they kind of keep you on your toes. You don't want to get too lax, but um, it's a little nerve wracking, but it's beautiful in the end. And I, what I love to hear at the end is a couple say, you know what, thank you so much. Yes. It, was a, it was a beautiful job. My family loved it. That's mm -hmm. really what we're going for and excited <laughs> for them in that whole nervousness. So. Well, we haven't picked the couple just yet. They're still, you know, entering at this point. But what kind of a couple do you hope is standing in front of you on that day? A couple that truly loves each other mm -hmm. and a couple that's uh, more focused on their life together than they are even the ceremony date. I love the ceremony. We do a great job in the ceremony. Mm -hmm. But it's a marriage. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, it's a marriage. So hopefully uh, the couple's excited about each other enough to really uh, love each other beyond this wedding day. So I agree. That's my hope. But it's, it's, <laughs> and it's been the last few couples doing that. So it hopefully really this, we, we'll continue it, I'm sure. Pastor Ken, thank you so much for coming thank in. You. I will be seeing a lot of you in the coming days. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, February, guys, is the month for love. It's the month for weddings. And you could win a complete wedding from Fox 45. This is our Wedding in a Week contest. One lucky couple will be married live on Fox 45 Morning News. It's happening in February. The wedding is valued at $43,000. You heard me right. If you want to enter for this just amazing opportunity, go to foxbaltimore.com. You need to tell us in 100 words or less why you think that you should win. Be sure to include a photo of yourself with your fiance, of course. And don't forget the Baltimore wedding experience is coming to Baltimore. It's happening February 1st and 2nd at the Baltimore Convention Center. If you want all this information, it's very easy. Go to WeddingExperience.com for information on the show.